Welcome back, first graders. It's me, Mrs. Lamb. We're going to continue with listening and learning domain two, the human body. Today's story is called Five Keys to Health. A healthy body is one that is strong and well. Try thinking of five different ways to stay healthy. Listen carefully to see if they're the same ones that Dr. Wellbody suggests to us. Hi, everybody. And I do mean body. It's your old friend, Dr. Wellbody. We've been learning a lot about the human body. Now I'm back to talk to you about how you can take good care of yours. Remember, there's only one very special you, and you can take care of yourself by doing certain things to stay healthy. So here are the five things to do to take care of the special you. Number one, eat well. Your body needs lots of energy to keep it going. You need energy to work and play. You need energy to grow. Energy comes from food. Food is the fuel your body runs on, like a car runs on gas. But some foods are much better for you than others. The best foods to keep you going and growing are nutritious foods. Can you say nutritious? Excellent, nutritious. They have lots of nutrients, such as protein and vitamins, to help keep you well. Nutritious foods include fruits, vegetables, whole wheat bread, brown rice, nuts, fish, and chicken. What about sweet sugary foods like candy or cookies? They may taste good and give you some quick energy, but they wear off fast, leaving you feeling weak and hungry again. These foods are only good to eat once in a long while as a special treat. Eating these foods regularly can make you gain weight and give you cavities or small holes in your teeth. Uh-oh. Fatty foods like bacon, french fries, and chips are not very nutritious either. They can make you gain weight and slow you down. By eating nutritious foods, you'll be able to think better, jump higher, run faster, and grow stronger. <laughs> Part of eating well means knowing what to drink. Do you have some plants at home that need to be watered? Me too. Every plant and animal needs water. You know what that means? You do too. Much of your body is made up of water. You have water in your muscles and around your brain. Your spit or saliva, sweat, urine, and blood are mostly made of water. What? <laughs> because water is so important to your body, make sure you drink plenty of water every day. Number two, exercise. Your body is made for moving, for running, jumping, pushing, and pulling, dancing and diving, throwing and catching, leaping and skipping. Participating in an activity in which you're moving your body to keep it healthy is called exercising. Exercising helps your bones stay strong, it makes your muscles bigger, it makes your lungs and heart stronger, it helps you fight germs, and it can help put you in a good mood. Hmm, I learned something new today myself. You can exercise by hitting a baseball, kicking a soccer ball, jumping rope, dancing, climbing a tree, rowing a boat, skating, or doing many other activities. Just choose something that's fun for you and get moving every day. Number three, is sleep. After you spend a day at work and play, you feel tired. That's a sign that you need to recharge your body. How can you do this? By going to sleep. <laughs> sleep rests your body and helps clear your mind for the next day. If you don't get enough sleep, you may feel grouchy, your brain won't work as well. Children need between 10 and 12 hours of sleep every night. That means 
if you have to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning to get ready for school, that you should be in bed sometime between 7 and 9 o'clock at night. A well-rested body will stay healthier too. Number four, keep clean. Washing with soap and water will get rid of germs that can make you sick. So jump into that bubble bath or shower and scrub. <laughs> Don't forget to wash your hair with shampoo too. You'll look, smell, and feel good. Wash your hands often during the day before you eat, after you go to the bathroom, and just whenever they look dirty. When your fingernails look dirty, you should scrub underneath them with a brush. Washing your hands often is a great way to wash germs down the drain. And don't forget to brush, brush, brush your teeth at least twice a day. Use dental floss in between your teeth. This washes away the germs that cause cavities. Then you'll have a bright, clean smile that says, I take good care of my body. Let me see your bright smiles. <laughs> I see you're taking good care of yourselves. Number five is to have checkups. Germs are all around us. They're on plants and animals, in food and in water. Most of the time, germs don't harm us. But what if you wake up one morning with a headache, a fever, and a sore throat? Uh-oh, some germs have made you sick. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Since your body has natural ways to fight most germs, you'll probably feel better in a few days. If not, you should go see a doctor like me who can give you medicine to help you get well. Even if you're feeling terrific, it's important to have regular checkups with a pediatrician at least once a year. Your doctor will make sure you are healthy and growing. He or she will also help keep you from getting diseases by giving you vaccinations or other medicines. I always look forward to seeing how much my patients have grown when they come to see me for their wellness checkup after each birthday. Well, there you have it, Dr. Well Body's five fun and easy ways to take care of your body. I hope you'll try them all. And now, before I go, let's give a healthy body cheer. Yes, yes, yes to veggies, to fruit and chicken too. No to too much candy, cause it's not good for you. Yes, yes, yes to washing, to exercise and rest, cause strong and healthy bodies are bodies at their best, yes! All right, guys, well, I'm off. Hoy. I loved what Dr. Wellbody had to say. Did she have any of the same ideas that you did? I'm glad, that means you're taking good care of your bodies. Let's see if we can answer some questions about what we learned with Dr. Wellbody today. My first question is, what are Dr. Wellbody's five keys to health? What did she tell us? Okay, I'm hearing some great answers. I love the way y'all are paying attention. Okay, so Dr. Wellbody told us that we need to eat well, exercise, rest, wash, not just our hands, and go to the doctor to make sure we're staying healthy. Okay, so just once more, that Dr. Wellbody told us that we need to eat well, exercise, rest, wash hands, teeth, bodies, all of us, <laughs> and get checkups at least once a year by our doctor. Knowing what we know about being healthy, let me see if you can answer this question. If you eat a bowl of sweet cereal for breakfast, a milkshake for lunch, and french fries with ketchup for dinner. Are you eating nutritious meals? That's a big no, I heard you loud and clear. No, you are not. All those things might taste good, but they're not gonna give you good long-term energy that your body needs, so that is a big no. Big no, exclamation point on that one. We don't wanna eat like that. Another question, what are some things you can do to keep your body clean? 
What can you do to keep your body clean? Definitely, mm-hmm. Okay, I heard another good answer. All right, well, let me start writing your answers down. So you're telling me that we can wash our hands, brush our teeth, yeah, that's important too, and take baths, good job. All right, so using soap and water to wash our hands, and wash our bodies, bath or shower, your preference, helps keep the outside of our bodies clean and brushing our teeth with toothpaste and a toothbrush helps actually keep the inside of our body clean too because you know, because a lot of stuff does go into our bodies through our mouths. We have to take care of our teeth. Let me see those healthy smiles one more time. <laughs> Great job. Okay, one more question. And this is one I want you to think about. I want you to think about this one. And this question is, what are some of your daily habits, the things you do every day, that you could change to be a healthier person? What could you do every day to be a healthier person? If you really think about this one, so think about it, pair it with someone if you can, and then get ready to share your answer with me and them. Wow, y'all have some amazing ideas. I love what you plan to do to be healthier. I'm going to write down the idea that I have that I want to do to help me be healthier. I said that one of the daily habits that I could change is to get more rest. I'm going to try to get more rest as a habit I want to change to be healthier. And I hope that you're successful and your habit changes too. Well, that's all the questions I have. I think it's about time that we had a brain break. I have a good idea. I'm going to pretend that I'm doing one of Dr. Wellbody's five keys to health, and I want you to guess what it is that I'm doing, okay? Whew, y'all got that one fast. You're right, I'm washing my hands. Okay, 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 how about this one? You're right, I'm dancing, and Dr. Wellbody told us to exercise, get up and move. Any kind of movement you like to do, make sure you do it every day. Okay, I'm gonna show you just one more. Oh, oh, you figured it out already? <laughs> well, I told you I was gonna try to get more rest. So yes, that's another key that Dr. Wellbody says we need, and that is to get more rest. Another thing she told us was about eating healthy food. And that's the word I want to work on with you today. That word is nutritious. Say the word nutritious with me. Nutritious, good job. Nutritious foods contain special nutrients or things to keep your bodies healthy. I'm gonna provide you with some examples of foods and you're gonna tell me that is nutritious or that is not nutritious. <laughs> okay, are you ready? A can of soda, mm -hmm. that is not nutritious. An apple, that is nutritious. Chicken soup, great job, that's nutritious. Now I know everyone doesn't like chicken, but chicken soup is technically a nutritious food option. Now we can worry about what you like later. Right now we're talking about what you can and should eat versus should not eat. Like my next example, jelly beans. And you're right, that is not nutritious. Okay, last one. How about a cheese sandwich? That is nutritious. Oh, you're doing an amazing job thinking and telling me all about the nutritious foods you can eat. Thank you for exploring five keys to health with me today. I hope when we leave here, you're gonna be able to eat healthy food, get plenty of rest, wash those hands, definitely spend some time exercising, and hopefully make it to seeing your pediatrician. But that's all we have time for today, guys. Until next time, bye.